Music in general has the power to define cities, so if you think about the Beatles, you think Liverpool. But what comes into your mind when you think about Cambridge? Record shops used to be the centre of the music scene in the late 70s and 80s, with stores such as Rough Trade helping artists get their music heard. But how are record shops helping young bands in 2019? Okay, well, there's quite a good music scene here in Cambridge. There's lots of local bands, big and small. And, um, yeah, we stock uh, any and all of the local bands' releases, uh, support their gigs a bit. But we stock it on vinyl, but sometimes on CD too. Um, and yeah, it's quite a nice little scene here. Uh, I mean, some do advertise us, it's quite nice when they do. Um, but I wouldn't say uh, that's the like number one priority in terms of getting your name out there. I think we're doing enough. I mean, we're just a record shop at the end of the day, so yeah. we, we've got the ability to put gig posters up on the walls here, stock their releases, tell customers about local bands. I think, I think we do what a record shop in, in a city like Cambridge is meant to do, really. So do people involved in the local music scene think Cambridge has one of the worst music scenes in the country? Whether it's ranked in terms of best or worst, but I do think that um, a lot of bands come through here in Cambridge, there's quite a vibrant scene, always has been. Um, it ebbs and flows, but I think it's quite similar to a lot of cities around the country. Uh, I think it's generally quite good. Um, there's a lot of places to play, uh, and a lot, of, a lot of places to get your name out there, um, especially for new bands. Uh, for instance, the, like, the Junction Fiverr allows you know, quite a few new bands to just get their name out there. Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, there's um, there, there, there's quite a, a good little scene here. I mean, we, we, we're lucky in the sense that for what what is really a small city, we've got good music venues, um, and now we've got you know ourselves and one or two other good record shops too. So no, I think it just all helps really. There's not just an issue with the music scene in Cambridge. Many think rock music as a whole has died. So what do some of the biggest name in the business think about it? There's good lads in bands, you know what I mean? But there's not been a real good band for 10 years, like since Kasabian and Arctic Monkeys come along. Oh, there's a band called Jungle, but they're kind of in the dance the dance thing. As for guitar bands, it's pretty barren. And it's because of the music. It's not because of the people or the the attitude of the... You know, the, I suppose the attitude of the record companies is a bit questionable, particularly in England, towards guitar music. I don't think rock and roll... Uh... It, rock and roll ever dies. It's more of an attitude, <laughs> you know, to me. I think in the industry, in the music business right now, um, a lot of what makes rock and roll great has been sort of snuffed out. So what do local bands think they can do better in order to get their names out there? And what advice would they give to people wanting to start a band? Um, I think we, we need to put more focus into vocals. Most of the time we do it last minute. Uh, and I think that doesn't help the song too much. Um, but yeah, if we put more effort into that, we could make a more complete song, I think. Don't kind of uh, make your music around what people would like, make it around what you would like. Um, it to be. And yeah, just uh, talk to people, get your name out there. Because if you don't ask, you won't get anything. Throughout filming the documentary, we had a very one-sided opinion of the fact that the music scene in Cambridge isn't the worst in the country. However, whilst the people that we interviewed said this, we only interviewed a small amount of people, and because of this, we decided the music scene on the whole is below average. However, rock, as a genre, is not dead, and the bands in the UK are proving this wrong, such as Royal Blood and Muse.